In this video, we're going to discuss accrued revenues. In our previous video, we discussed accrued expenses. And what we said in that video was accrued expenses are expenses that have built up over time, but the money hasn't changed hands. And so, you know, if you have an expense that's building up, but you haven't paid for it, we said accrued expenses will always create an expense and a payable. And we recorded the, you know, proper journal entry there. Well, accrued revenues are, are very similar if you think about how they work. There are revenues that have built up, but the money hasn't changed hands yet. And so if, if, if I've been earning money, if, if revenues have been building up, but I haven't been paid yet, that's always going to create a receivable. And you're going to see that in this case. So when we have accrued revenues, I want you thinking about receivables and revenues. So let's read the question. On October 31st, 2012, Calls R Us agrees to do a six-month contract doing call center service for a major credit card at a rate of $10,000 per month uh, with a full $60,000 due on April 30th, 2013. Okay, so where this calls R Us, we've entered into a six-month contract to do call center work for a credit card. They're going to give us $60,000 in six months, but we've got to do the work in between now and, and April 30th. Uh, the company's fiscal year end is on December 31st. So the first question, is there a transaction on October 31st? Well, a lawyer might tell you that there's a transaction, and some accountants might even tell you that. But for basics of accounting, I would say there's no transaction here. And here's the analogy I'd like to give. Let's say uh, on, you know, uh, today, I, I say next time it snows, it's snowing in Kamloops right now, but next time it snows, I'll pay you $10 to shovel my snow. And we shake hands and we agree. $10 to, to you the next time it snows, you can shovel my snow. Have we transacted business today? Not really. We've promised to do a transaction in the future. I don't owe you $10 today. That's for sure. Uh, you don't owe me anything today because it's not snowing outside. We've basically agreed to do business in the future. And that's what this call center has done on October 31st. They've sort of said, yes, we're going to provide you with call center service. And the other side, the credit card company said, yes, we're going to pay you once it's over. The day of the contract, though, I'd say we, we haven't had a real transaction. So I'm going to say no transaction yet. Um, for part B, though, record the year-end adjusting journal entry. Well, our year-end date is December 31st, 2012. And what we've got to say here is how much revenue has been earned, but we haven't got the money yet. And the answer here, well, first of all, we're making an assumption that we've delivered on our promise. We've done the call center work. Uh, we signed up in October. We've done November, and we've done December, and we've done it properly. That's an assumption in the question, but let's let's go with it. So we've got to say, well, how much money have I earned? And I kind of just answered. October we don't count as a month. We're not going to count it. So November, December. And the reason we don't count October is because October 31st, we didn't start until the very last day of October. So November, December, two months worth of work. Uh, the contract calls for ten grand a month. So we've earned, you know, two months. At ten thousand dollars, we've earned twenty thousand bucks. So we've got to record an entry here, and the entry is, uh, well, uh, we've done the work, we haven't got the money. What's that called when we do a bunch of work but we don't get paid? That's very typically an account receivable, and that's that's how I classify this. So we're going to debit accounts receivable. I'm strategically writing down the page so I can leave room for my head headings here at the top uh, and we're going to debit it by 20,000. I'm going to credit some sort of revenue and um, I don't know what I'd be tempted to call this revenue. I'm going to call it call center revenue or no, maybe contract revenue. We want to make an effort to say what kind of revenue it is. Remember, debit an asset to make it go up so our accounts receivable is indeed an asset and it is going up. We always credit revenues. Revenues always help out our equity, so they always take a credit, and we're going to credit contact contract rather revenue by twenty thousand dollars. At this point, we've done a proper adjustment. This is an adjusting journal entry, and remember why. It's our fiscal year end, but we're not transacting with uh, our credit card client. 
right? We're not calling them and saying, hey, just reminding you, you owe us $20,000. We're not worried about our money until April 30th. On April 30th, we'll have a transaction. On our fiscal year end, we have an adjustment, and that's what makes it a special entry. All right, I hope you've understood accrued revenues. On to our final type of adjustment, unearned revenues.